Ooh. Hey, them receivers not safe when they save all. They had this, and this is like a smoothie that I make before practice. You know, it has like watermelon, all this stuff for energy. Hey man, it's your boy Travis on the back with another video, another vlog. We about to get right today. Week two, day one. Love it. Long day. Both sides of the ball, bro. Sometimes the practice, I gotta go both ways. TV. I'm playing DV today. Yo, Captain said Heisman loading, bro. That's, that's the vibe you're on? That's it, bro. Ain't nothing else to be said. Nice job. Nice job. Get your wrist. Your elbow is too easy. Press it against your chest, though. Nose. Get out. Front knee over the front toe. Back on your back. All right, let's go. We got a lead. Yeah. Who is this? Come on, Roger! Oh, Yep. Go, trigger. Oh, you gotta make Push. Go. What you do? Yes. 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 You switch off day after day in terms of going back and forth between offense. Yeah, it's pretty much I uh, go to offense one day and then defense the next day. Trucks, how, how hard has it been to, I mean, you had a roster turnover from spring. How, how hard is it to get to know your new teammates and what's it been like just to get to know them? Uh, it's not hard at all. I mean, it, it ain't hard to know the people you're going to be playing with. So you just got to ask a lot of questions, talk to them, just make conversations pretty much. When you, uh, I mean, the, the camera eye is always on you with, with the Alex Prime show and everything like that. Are you used to the camera and, and do you kind of guard yourself a little bit? <laughs> no, nah, I'm used to the camera. It's been in my face since high school, so I'm not worried about the camera. <laughs> What would you say was your best playing camp so far? Uh, all of them. Any play that I made. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Travis, how do you feel physically now compared to when you came in in the spring, had that little time off to go, you know, get away, get some work done on your own? Uh, I feel a lot better, a lot stronger, feel a lot faster. Just, I feel a lot healthier too. So pretty much, I'm good right now. What were your biggest goals? Uh, gain about five pounds, gain some muscle, and get stronger. We've heard you and Shador saying you want to go at Cormani early just to kind of make him make him get used to what it's like here in college. How yeah. fun has it been for you just kind of pushing him every day so you try to get the best out of him? Uh, it's been real fun. I mean, he's a young guy. I was a young guy last year. I'm still a young guy this year, but we gotta, he got to be thrown in the fire just like I was thrown in the fire. So it's fun to go at him every day. You've been on both sides. So who's ahead of who right now, wide receivers or uh, corners? Uh, I don't even know. I mean, some days it's defense, some days it's offense. So you pretty much don't even know. So whichever side you're on? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> why, does, why does Coach Prime work so well for you? What you mean? Why, is, why does he fit you? You're bringing the best out of you. Uh, because he did this before. It pretty much, he ain't got to say nothing. He got to go Jack, and that's what I'm chasing. You know you're a young guy. Do you feel like a leader out there at both spots? I'm already, I, I get thrown in a leader spot since I was out of high school. So it's pretty much, I got to be a leader no matter where I'm at. Do people recognize you around town here? Do you see dudes that like, oh, there's Travis Hunter, man, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I go out, but I try not to be out a lot, so. What do they say? Uh, they just want to ask for a picture, take a picture, and that's it. You cool with that here? Yeah, I'm cool with that. You <laughs> like don't bother me. that way? Yeah. Different. It's not home. Yeah, no, nah, it don't bother me, though. <laughs> can, can you tell that she do as a quarterback son or a, a coach's son, a player's son? I mean, it's, does he have that, just like that extra drive almost? Uh, no, but he definitely have a drive that nobody can compete with. He always working. I'm pretty sure he didn't even walk off the field yet, so he probably still on there throwing the ball right now. So, if you ever had a coach say, "You're working too hard. Don't do this. Don't do," because you could return kicks, you could offense, mm -hmm. defense. I mean, I imagine they play a no tackle. <laughs> nah, they don't, they just pretty much tell me to go get treatment every day, so I can keep keep doing what I'm doing. Do you want to play as many? I mean, is there a limit of snap, like a pitch count in baseball? Is there a limit of snaps? Because you could play. No, I don't have a limit of snaps. Yeah, I want to play, play all of them. If you yeah. want to. 
That's but what. You, I, but do you want to play all? Yeah, I want to play all the snaps. I don't like to be out the field. Being out the field on the sideline is boring. <laughs> do they give you a pit? Do they say no? Only you know half offense, all defense. Nah, kind nah, of nah, nah. They let me go to my limit, and don't have a limit. So okay. I just pretty much play whatever I want. Obviously, which way do you think uh, Shador's improved as a quarterback this season? Uh, I'll probably say his accuracy and timing, pretty much, and his footwork's got a lot better. Where do you feel like you are better at as a wide receiver, just in terms of route running and refining all of those things? Uh, I'll, I'll say my route running, route running got a lot better during this offseason, and now it's standing out in camp. Is that a craft that you just kind of appreciate, kind of the, all the technicalities that go into that? Yeah, I mean, you got to, you got to appreciate it. You got to be on your A game every day. What would you learn from Michael Westbrook? Uh, pretty much, when you're tired, you gotta. You, that's when the that's when your fundamentals come out in your route running. So that's pretty much what I learned. I always got to stick with the fundamentals no matter what. Travis, you, you said you're uh, you've been a leader since high school. So what's your leadership style? Are you a lead by example guy? Yeah, I lead by example. I don't like to talk a lot. If you get me to talk, that means we're doing something too wrong. Do you love kind of the expect and almost hype, but like people? See big things in you, man. Like you, that guy. You're the you're you're he. I'm him. I'm him. Do, you, do you love that here? Do you feel that here? I mean, I pretty much block all that stuff out until it's time to go. I mean, I'll pay attention to that stuff after the season. After I do what I got planned for myself. When Coach Prime had his medical issues earlier, was it hard to stay focused uh, on what you were doing on the football field? Uh, no, nah, but it's kind of hard not having your head coach here when you know he's there to coach you and help you in every way he could. Did you talk to Shador at all during that time? Yeah, me and Shador, I think when Coach was having surgery, we, me and Shador went to uh, Vegas and we talked to him. What's the best place to eat in Boulder? I don't know. I don't like, I don't be out in Boulder for real. <laughs> <laughs> Upstairs. <laughs> Thanks, Travis. Uh, today, no, the offense is yesterday. Hey, I don't care what Travis is talking about. We locking all that up today. Defense, that's crazy. You're on defense today? Yeah. Okay, we're well now we're friends. <laughs> Get off me, bro. These linemen love, boy. I got the new white gloves in that trunk right there. Where? This? Right here? On the right side. Right here. Oh, yeah, these are. These tough. Pressure. I get to see the exclusive first. Pressure. Okay, okay. These tough to go. These padded joints. He goes hard. Oh, icy white. He's got to be phenomenal, but them just hard. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, I'm trying to get you a gray jersey. Yeah, I need mean, like a bowl. Gray. <laughs> you look like a bowl, man. I look so cool for real. No vibes. What? What? Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh, dude. That was a great clip. You got that this, bro? Okay. This part of his body, when I get down the field, all right? Because that ball. It's behind him. What, what is his torso going to be? He's going to have to come this way. But if it's, if it's going to be a deep ball, his shoulders are going to be what? Facing forward. Facing forward. forward. All right? So now I need to know this. But as soon as as I see that, that that torso, that shoulder come toward me right there, I need to do what? Put my hand, put that right there in that, in that chest, and be, be prepared for the back shoulder. All right? So be prepared for the back shoulder. You got to dribble on there with your Yeah. We did, we did it. We did it. Let's do that right now. All right. And I just tell the receiver what he what he gonna have. Yeah, he gonna have a go route. Or he gonna, or he gonna do back shoulder. But I want you. Let's get right here first. Though. I'm gonna do this. Oh, yeah, you catch it here too. That way you can't see what I'm trying to tell you to do. Boom! Right there. Oh, 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 o
snitch. Hey, bro, you need me? You know, it's okay, bro. Here. Oh. 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 Let's get blacker, bro. Just a lighter black. <laughs> a lighter black you heard me? and a darker you black. I, tenor, I just get a lighter black. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> bro. <laughs> you look like I had a bandaid on. <laughs> you look great. Why like you went in the pool with your socks on? Came out. <laughs> you put a bandaid on that bit. <laughs> you know, you put a bandaid on it for too long. <laughs> it was looking great. <laughs> well, I had a good day today, bro. This defense. We got to communicate much better. I like playing both, bro. I like catching picks. I like getting the ball. And I like scoring. I mean, sack today, y'all just ain't see it. Though. No, that's all. Right. I got it. I got it. You got it. Yeah, oh, I got it. You, oh, off the edge? Yeah, yeah. I seen it. Oh, yeah. That's the only one I need, though. I ain't yeah, going I got to get it. On my phone. Yeah, you ain't messing no more. <laughs> I ain't going to get it. Wait, so how you don't like to get hit? But you like to play defense. I don't like to get hit, but I like to play defense. But you because I like to guard people. Oh, so you're not a preferred hitter. You just like to guard people. If they break out on my side, oh yeah, you can tackle. But. Other than that, I'm good. I feel you. I feel you. I ain't finna just go in there. You, really like, you just like, you like defending. Yeah. I'm not like taking the ball away from you. You don't like doing the dirty work. Nah, I know. Sorry. That's yeah. why I'm going. I know. <laughs> you can DBs are not hit for rolling the lead. Uh, this what? Oh, God. <laughs> they get paid to cover. Hey, Travis, uh, Nick Edwards, Hughes Sports Report. We were just talking to Coach Prime, and he said, someone's got to join Travis on the secondary. From your perspective, who could be that guy could potentially join you at the cornerback position um, as of now? As of right now, I mean, it's pretty much all the DBs. We just got to get on the same page. Just, just got to be able to grind and be able to have short-term memory loss. They let bad plays get in their head, so you just got to have short-term memory loss. Do you think there's any specific aspects that they're missing that you have in your game that they don't, that you see? Uh, I'm just, I just got a great ball IQ. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's, you just got to play a lot of football to get that. Travis, uh, Jake Shapiro, Denver Sports. Just a simple question. What's your favorite part about living in Boulder so far? Uh, it's quiet, not a lot of noise, and just chill. Uh, Travis, when was the first time that, that you had contact with, with, uh, with Coach Sanders and, and you know, what was his pitch to you that, that made you want to be a part of the program at Jackson State and then obviously follow here as well? I mean, it really wasn't no pitch. I mean, he, all his accolades stand out for himself. So just having to talk, just talk to him about family, just outside of football things was just the main key for me. And, and how would you describe Coach Fountain at Collins Hill, his impact on your life? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's one of the best coaches I've ever been coached by, mentor. He always was there for me whenever I needed him. Hey, Travis, Jake Schwannis, DMVR. A few weeks ago, you made that video with Destroy, and just curious, your thoughts on doing that, and who would be your next YouTube uh, dream collaboration? Uh, I don't got no dream collaborations. I just do that with Destroy because I knew him since I was in high school. Hey, Travis, you're about halfway through camp now before you get into to game week prep. You have a unique perspective on both sides of the ball. How do you f see the team coming together at this point through camp? I mean, we got we still got a lot to learn, but we coming together well. It's just a lot of things that we get thrown at us in fall camp and just draining. So pretty much, you just got to put our head down and just go in there, willing to learn and willing to be better every day. Travis, you posted the Heisman loading caption on Instagram. Uh, that goal for you, what what do you think it's going to take from you to reach that goal? Just being myself, that's it. Just going out there and playing football, being the best player out there. As you start to get a little bit older, does your mentality change? What are you learning throughout this process and throughout the change? How do you, how do you see yourself approaching this season? Uh, I mean, I'm very healthy now. I mean, my mentality don't change. I'm going out there to do what I can do. All right, appreciate the time. Thank you so much.